Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network National Spirituality Ian Tu Sheng, Creating Black Fairy Tales A Thriller Game Has Arrived The world has been divided into countless terrifying regions, with billions of people struggling to survive. Gu Yuan travels through time and gains the hidden identity and Tu Sheng, at the beginning, creating a dark fairy tale. Create the dark little red riding hood, transform into a demon wolf, and engage in endless slaughter. Create the dark snow white princess, the evil energy of crystal shoes soars to the sky, and kill countless evil spirits. Create the dark ugly duckling, constantly devour it, and evolve into the supreme swan demon god. Unconsciously, the entire horror world has turned into a black fairy tale paradise controlled by Gu Yuan. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Thrilling Games Special Identity Intuition You are listening at NovelFull.audio Late at Night, Dragon City In an Empty Library The dim yellow lights flickered continuously, filled with a decaying atmosphere. Gu Yuan walked through the bookshelf holding an old copy of Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. Suddenly, a hollow and cold voice that made people unconsciously feel a chill in their backs sounded in his ears. The thriller game has fully arrived, current version 1.0. All humans of Blue Star, regardless of gender, age, and age, are forced to participate, after today, terror will descend, and horror will run rampant. The night will turn into a nightmare of cannibalism, and endless slaughter will be hidden in the darkness. Please strive to live. Or. Become a flesh and blood sacrifice to the god of death. Upon hearing this sound, Gu Yuan couldn't help but be taken aback. A thriller game. Terror descended. Endless slaughter. What are these things? Is someone playing a prank? Gu Yuan hesitated and raised his head, looking around with a bewildered expression. He is a staff member of the library and will be on duty here tonight. In theory, there should be no second person in the library at this point. At the same time, a large virtual screen suddenly appeared in front of him. The whole body is dark black, engraved with countless dense blood red runes. Runes are constantly wriggling, as if they have their own life, and may rush down from the screen at any time, transforming into evil spirits on earth. Gu Yuan couldn't help but tremble all over, feeling a chill surge from his feet and rushing straight to his forehead. He is certain that this is definitely not something that manpower can do. It seems to be an extremely terrifying and unpredictable power. Buzz. Accompanied by a low growl that made one's teeth ache. A large line of text appears on the screen. Locked, player Gu Yuan. Compulsory participation in thriller games. Each participating player in the game will be randomly endowed with eerie abilities based on their current environment. In the allocation of eerie abilities. The next moment. A beam of blood descended from the sky without warning, directly enveloping Gu Yuan and the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales in his hand. Countless dark mist emerged out of nowhere, surging and converging, crazily pouring into Gu Yuan's body. Judgment completed. Congratulations on activating your hidden identity, dark fairy tale creator and Tusheng, only, accompanying eerie ability. Black fairy tale creator, can edit dark fairy tales and summon dark characters, dot. A gloomy voice sounded. Meanwhile, a massive amount of information flooded into Gu Yuan's mind. After a long time, Gu Yuan finally sorted out this information, with a hint of surprise in his eyes. Blue Star has been completely enveloped by thriller games, and many places have been transformed into extremely dangerous areas. Those eerie and ghostly creatures that only exist in myths and legends will appear in reality. The thermal weapons of human technology have no effect on them. The only thing that can be relied on is the eerie ability bestowed upon every player by the game system. They must rely on their eerie abilities to fight against those demons and monsters in order to seize the opportunity to survive. 
By chance, Gu Yuan activated a very special identity. Black Fairy Tale Creator Intuition. And his abilities are also very simple. In short, Gu Yuan can adapt various fairy tales and turn those true, good, and beautiful fairy tales into chilling evil stories. And summon the characters in the story to fight for themselves. And Tusheng is the only profession, which means that I am the only one in the world who can create black fairy tales. Gu Yuan murmured to himself, quite excited. This is a powerful profession similar to a summoner, which suits his taste very well. Just think about it with your toes and you'll know that the new thriller games are bound to be filled with various unpredictable dangers. Accidentally, it will lead to a dead end. Create a dark fairy tale where the blackened princess knights in the fairy tale work hard while he waits to collect the spoils of war. How comfortable this is. Thinking of this, Gu Yuan couldn't hold back any longer. He rubbed his hands, his eyes filled with anticipation, and asked in a deep voice. System, how do you start creating black fairy tales? The game system immediately gave an answer. Dear player, you can open the personal information panel, select the creation option, and create a black fairy tale, note that creating dark fairy tales for the first time is free and does not require any items to be consumed. But to perform the creation operation afterwards, sufficient Yuri energy needs to be provided, strange energy can be obtained by killing various ghosts and monsters, or consuming special Yuri items. The higher the level of ghosts and eerie items, the more eerie energy they provide. Gu Yuan nodded. The system's answer is very detailed. He turned his head to look at the bottom right corner of the virtual screen. There, there is a long string of icons constantly flashing. The front one is the personal information panel. Without hesitation, Gu Yuan thought for a moment and directly selected to open it. A row of information immediately appeared in front of Gu Yuan. Gu Yuan, Level F. Special Identity. Black Fairy Tale Creator and Tushin, Only. Dot. Created Black Fairy Tale Characters. Currently unavailable, click to create, Strange Energy. Zero, Strange Props. None at the moment. Let's start then. Gu Yuan muttered to himself and selected the creation option. Gently click. Immediately, endless deep black mist surged out of the surrounding area, as if it could make people sink into it forever. The black mist condensed into a roll of yellowed parchment and a blood-red goose feather pen. This time creating a black fairy tale is free, and the next time creating a black fairy tale requires 500 eerie energy points, p.s. The new book sets sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, a flower, and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Chapter 2 Fabricating Black Fairy Tales Black Little Red Riding Hood is born. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seeing this scene There is no need for the system to explain too much, and Gu Yuan also understands what he needs to do. He lifted his hand directly. The goose feather pen in the air automatically flew into his hand. And it still vibrates slightly spiritually, emitting a joyful low cry. It seems like a baby wandering outside has finally returned to its father's embrace. The roll of parchment also automatically landed and unfolded in front of Gu Yuan. Since it's a dark fairy tale, it must be evil enough, dark enough. Gu Yuan silently pondered in his heart. Countless fairy tales pass by in my mind. After pondering for a while, he immediately picked up his pen. A long, long time ago, in the big forest, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. Because she was beaten by her grandmother, she wanted to retaliate against her grandmother. On this day, she secretly drugged her food, fainted, and killed her grandmother. In order to avoid punishment, she stole a wolf skin, disguised herself as the scene of the murder, and falsely claimed that her grandmother died at the hands of a big grey wolf. People believed in Little Red Riding Hood and thought she was innocent. 
But in fact, there have never been any big bad wolves, no wolf grandmothers, only little Red Riding Hood who kills without blinking an eye. Rows of terrifying words flowed from Gu Yuan's pen. Little Red Riding Hood is a very classic fairy tale. People all think that Little Red Riding Hood is simple, kind, and innocent. But in the black fairy tales created by Gu Yuan, Little Red Riding Hood is a criminal incarnation with blood-stained hands, a crazy killer demon. Ding! The creation of dark fairy tales has been completed summon the dark red riding hood based on the dark fairy tale you have created the sound of the system rings. The next moment. In front of Gu Yuan, a thin and small figure appeared out of thin air. This is a little lowly. Pale skin, with a shallow smile on his face, innocent and innocent, looking harmless to humans and animals. A dark black small skirt with a red brimmed hat on top, crimson like blood. A data panel appeared in front of Gu Yuan. Dark Little Red Riding Hood, Introduction A eerie girl with terrifying powers inside her body can transform into a wolf ghost form at critical moments, and killing is her favorite. Level C+, can grow quickly through killing, dot. Loyalty 100, constant, absolute loyalty, dot. Gu Yuan glanced and a hint of ecstasy flashed through his eyes. In this thriller game, the strength rating is very clear. F, E, D, C, B, A, S, 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 S. For players who have just entered this game, their strength is equivalent to that of an F. Level Ghost. The Dark Little Red Riding Hood summoned by Gu Yuan possesses C plus level combat power from birth. This is already the level of fierce ghosts that run rampant. As her master, Gu Yuan has to walk sideways even more. And Little Red Riding Hood's loyalty to Gu Yuan is at the highest level of 100, which means absolute loyalty. Even if Gu Yuan asked her to die, she wouldn't have any hesitation. Little Red Riding Hood lifted her head and looked at Gu Yuan, her pale face tinged with a hint of pathological blush. With a sweet smile, she timidly spoke up. Brother. Gu Yuan also smiled lightly, took a step forward, and calmly touched Little Red Riding Hood's head. Little Red Riding Hood also lowered her head very gently. Seems to enjoy Gu Yuan's touch very much. At this moment, a mournful and strange smile suddenly sounded ahead. Jie Jie. The dim yellow oil lamp above the head instantly extinguished. A trembling chill howled in. A man in a broken suit limped out, his crimson eyes fixed on Gu Yuan. And the most I dot catching are his hands. Bare and without a single finger. Seeing him, Gu Yuan couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. I remembered a legend from the library. It is said that decades ago, there was a library employee who was addicted to gambling and owed a huge amount of debt. Due to inability to repay, all fingers were chopped off and the wife and children were separated. He couldn't bear the blow and chose to settle himself in the library, transforming into a ghost within the library. Gu Yuan always thought this was just a rumor. Now it seems that this is not the case. The arrival of thriller games has revived all these silent ghosts and monsters in the dark. Blood flickers. Pop ups from the game system flash. In thriller games, only the truly strong have the qualification to survive on the first night, everyone will face a ghost attack whether to kill or be killed, it's all up to oneself Gu Yuan nodded. It seems that this gambler is the initial test arranged for him in the game. He was unfortunate during his lifetime and his death was tragic, so he must have been filled with resentment. It is a very ferocious demon. If Gu Yuan were alone, perhaps it would be more ominous than good. However Gu Yuan now is the only in Tu Sheng in the world of thriller games. He sneered and gently patted Little Red Riding Hood with his hand. I'll leave it to you. Little Red Riding Hood also lifted her head in an instant. In seemingly innocent eyes, a terrifying and brutal cold light flickered in an instant, resembling that of a wild beast. Don't worry, brother. I will tear him into pieces. 
Little Red Riding Hood spoke softly. Using the calmest tone, speaking the most vicious words. The gambler shrugged slightly, with a hint of mockery in his cold gaze. In his opinion, what threat can a weak scholar and a yellow-haired girl pose? This is simply blood food delivered to your door. Since he refuses to die obediently and still wants to resist, he can only use the cruelest means. At the next moment, the gambling ghost let out a strange cry, twisted its body strangely, and pounced directly at Little Red Riding Hood. For a moment, the Een wind howled with anger, and the ghostly aura grew strong. P.S. The new book set sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, a flower, and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Chapter 3 Violent Little Red Riding Hood, Special Prop You Ming You are listening at NovelFull.audio Facing Ferocious Ghosts Little Red Riding Hood just grinned. Stretching his bleeding red little tongue, he silently licked his lips. Immediately, her whole body began to swell strangely. At a speed visible to the naked eye, it skyrocketed tenfold. Dark, ink-like hair sprouted out one by one, and sharp, knife-like nails grew one by one. The green eyes, in the dark environment, were like two hanging ghostly flames. A cute little lowly that I still pity at first sight has transformed into a fierce and violent giant black wolf. This is the power of Little Red Riding Hood. The most terrifying form of a wolf ghost. If it weren't for what I saw with my own eyes, who would have believed that Little Red Riding Hood would have such a terrifying side? Ow! Little Red Riding Hood let out a low growl. The entire library trembled violently, and countless dust rustled down. A strong and bloody aura emanated from the air out of thin air. The aura of a C-plus level ghost is released without reservation. This scene was all witnessed by the gambling ghost across from him. His eyes were wide open, his pupils were trembling uncontrollably, and his body began to tremble. Chow! I've taken a look. This little girl is a fierce ghost without a doubt. Without hesitation, he forcefully stopped charging and turned around to escape. Faced with such a powerful little red riding hood, his heart couldn't lift any resistance. Big brother, where do you want to go? Little Red Riding Hood sneered and spoke. Still the sweet and soft lowly sound from before. But this voice, from the mouth of a giant wolf ghost, sounds so eerie. There is a twisted and absurd beauty. The gambler was even more frightened and trembled all over, and his escape pace quickened a bit. He only hates his parents for losing two legs now and cannot escape this dangerous place faster. Little Red Riding Hood stood still, silently watching the gambler escape. It's like a wild cat teasing mice. It's so boring to kill prey with just one strike. First, let the prey see some hope of escape, and then ruthlessly destroy this hope. At the moment when the gambler rushed to the entrance of the library. Little Red Riding Hood finally moved. Just one step. He appeared in front of the gambling ghost. Two sharp wolf claws poked forward and plunged into the gambler's body like tofu. Pull horizontally from left to right and instantly kill the gambling ghost. Little Red Riding Hood is neither tight nor slow, like a very professional foodie. Stuff the fragments of the ghost's soul into your mouth bit by bit, chew them up and devour them. There was a mesmerizing gleam of enjoyment in his eyes. As the owner, there is a very magical and subtle connection between Gu Yuan and Little Red Riding Hood. He could sense that Little Red Riding Hood's strength had slightly increased. This is also Little Red Riding Hood's talent. Being able to achieve unlimited improvement in one's own strength through continuous slaughter and combat. At the same time, a chill suddenly entered Gu Yuan's body. Swim rapidly among his four limbs, transforming every inch of his body. Muscles are tighter and more powerful, with clearer senses, and even the ability to see everything clearly in the darkness. What is this? Gu Yuan was pleasantly surprised. Seemingly sensing Gu Yuan's confusion, 
the game system immediately provided an answer. As the creator of Black Fairy Tales, you have innate authority the battles of the Black Fairy Tale creatures will feed back a portion of your pure ghost energy, thereby enhancing your strength Gu Yuan nodded. This can also be considered a hidden benefit of Ntushing's identity. You don't even need to do it yourself, lying down can make you stronger. Two words, comfortable. On the other hand, Little Red Riding Hood has completely eaten the gambler. The massive body slowly shrank back into the shape of a human little girl. Taking small steps, he ran back to Guyuan's side. Still shy and timid, still childish. Brother, am I a bit too aggressive? Gu Yuan smiled and rubbed Little Red Riding Hood's head. You performed very well. With full loyalty, Gu Yuan is not worried that Little Red Riding Hood will harm him. That Little Red Riding Hood is naturally the more ferocious the better. After all, in the world of thriller games, the weak have no survival ability. The game system prompt immediately rings. Ding. Gain 10 points of eerie energy. The initial test is completed, and you have completely unlocked the player qualification for the thriller game. Reward for beginners. Special and eerie item, Eye of the Underworld. Upon hearing these words, Gu Yuan couldn't help but be pleasantly surprised. In addition to the eerie energy required for killing, did you actually receive an additional eerie item? His mind twitched. Two round eyeballs appeared in his hand. Scarlet is incredibly red, as if it has just been soaked in blood for over a decade. The Eye of the Underworld, special and eerie item, no grade. Introduction A pair of eyes stained with extreme evil, it comes from hell and is accustomed to seeing beings in the nine nether realms. Integrating it, you will obtain a pair of ghost eyes that can surpass the strength levels of all supernatural creatures. Glancing at him, Gu Yuan was even more overjoyed. This ghost eye is too practical. In the world of thriller games, there are numerous supernatural creatures. Apart from the fierce ghost, there are countless beings beyond common sense. Their greatest skill is disguise. Pretend to be a harmless weakling and launch a critical strike at critical moments. Even with great care, one may inevitably face the risk of capsizing in the sewer. After possessing the Eye of the Underworld, Gu Yuan can easily grasp the enemy's state. If you can beat it, hit it, if you can't beat it, run away. Knowing oneself and the enemy is the key to invincibility in a hundred battles. P.S. The new book sets sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, a flower, and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Chapter 4 Fusion of the Eye of the Underworld, World Situation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Do you choose to merge the Eye of the Underworld a system pop.up window appears. There are two more options below, yes, and, no. Without hesitation, Gu Yuan chose yes. At the next moment, two blood-red eyeballs suddenly shook and flew high from Gu Yuan's hand, directly rushing into Gu Yuan's eyes. Like two rainbow colors. And Gu Yuan also felt an indescribable pain. Two icy colds swirled wildly in their eyes. The blood from all over my body involuntarily surged up and rushed into my eyes. This scene is like the eye of the underworld crazily devouring Gu Yuan's blood. In just a few seconds, Gu Yuan had already felt a bit dizzy, and his skin had become somewhat pale. This is a symptom of excessive blood loss in a short period of time. Fortunately, this process did not last too long. After drinking enough blood, the eye of the underworld completely fell silent. Gu Yuan opened his eyes and tentatively looked around. My heart couldn't help but tremble. After merging with the eye of the underworld, the scene he saw was completely different from before. Everything is clearer than before, and every detail is vividly displayed. And he can also see the distribution and concentration of Yin energy around him. Although Little Red Riding Hood still had the harmless appearance of humans and animals, the Yin energy enveloped in her body was incredibly thick, 
soaring into the sky. It can be said that Gu Yuan now can see the most essential things directly through appearances. The eye of the underworld truly lives up to its reputation. Brother, your eyes. Little Red Riding Hood's crispy mouth. Gu Yuan was taken aback and took out his phone to take a selfie. Only then did I realize that my eyes had become very eerie. The eyeballs were filled with dense crimson blood streaks. And these blood threads are arranged and combined in a very unique way, like circles of runes containing mysterious powers. A part of the blood stain spread out, curling upwards along the corner of the eye, filled with a unique and eerie beauty. These are like the eyes of a hellish demon, one more glance will lead to eternal destruction. Will it also exhibit some eerie features when combined with eerie props? If the number of fusion reaches a certain level, will it become completely eerie? Gu Yuan muttered to himself and made a guess in his heart. He is also uncertain whether this situation is good or bad. He lifted his head and used the power of the underworld eye to scan around. Except for the gathering of a large amount of Yin energy around Little Red Riding Hood, the distribution of Yin energy in other parts of the library is very even and peaceful. There are no other evil spirits here anymore. Staying here is not very meaningful. Let's go out and take a look. Gu Yuan spoke softly. For Gu Yuan's orders, Little Red Riding Hood naturally followed him obediently and walked out of the library. The familiar external world has now undergone tremendous changes. The moon in the sky has completely disappeared, and the whole world is immersed in a darkness that is beyond reach. The bustling Longqing district in the past was even more desolate, without any movement, as if it had suddenly turned into an empty city. In the distance, there are even some places where the Yin energy is majestic, like layers of dark clouds, hundreds of times more terrifying than Little Red Riding Hood. Obviously, there are extremely fierce ghosts haunting, which is the real death penalty area. Gu Yuan stood at the entrance of the library, looking into the distance with a slightly raised eyebrow. According to the official account of the game, the whole world has now fallen into the realm of thriller games. Every novice player who enters the game will undergo the initial test, accepting attacks from ghosts or other terrifying beings. I don't know how others are doing. Thinking of this, Gu Yuan couldn't help but have a thought and called out the virtual light screen of the game. In the lower right corner of the field of view, there is a long string of icons. However, only the icons, personal status, and world channel are on, while the others are in gray. Gu Yuan directly clicked on the world channel. It's very lively here. It's over, who will save me? A woman has arrived at my doorstep, her whole mouth is torn, and she keeps asking me if she looks good like this. What should I do? There's an extra scarecrow in my yard, and he keeps smiling at me. What's wrong? Should we just set fire to him, brothers, I'm almost scared to pee. I'm hiding in the supermarket. Not far away is a chainsaw killer who's looking for me. I have received a stack of ghost coins, which seem to be the life-buying money of a fierce ghost. Gone, I will go find someone to tattoo now. One in front of me opens his eyes, Guan Gong, and the other in the back peels off the dragon skin, scaring him to death, dot. Everyone's avatars are in black and white, resembling a series of posthumous photos. The initial tests they encountered were even more diverse, with everything present. However, the vast majority of players are now trembling and shrouded in fear. Like Gu Yuan, those who have directly suppressed the initial supernatural and even started actively exploring the external environment are almost unparalleled. Of course, Gu Yuan is also lucky enough. If he hadn't obtained the identity of Antusheng and summoned the dark little red riding hood in time, facing the attack of gambling ghosts would likely be a close call. Other people, where could they have such good luck as Gu Yuan? After tonight, I'm afraid the world population will sharply shrink. The situation in the entire world will become chaotic, and all forces will face a major reshuffle. P.S. The new book sets sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, a flower, 
and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Update Instructions You are listening at NovelFull.audio The new book set sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care and support as readers should know, the data on the first day of the new book is very important every flower and every ticket is an encouragement to the author. Little author, please seek support. Every day from 5 to 6, watch the data and add more updates. Every day from 5 to 6, watch the data and add more updates. Every day from 5 to 6, watch the data and add more updates. Over a thousand flowers plus one watch, 300 evaluation votes plus one watch. 10 monthly tickets plus one update, 50 comments plus one update. Five people can get a reward of 100 points, or one person can get a reward of 500 points plus one change. If it's not capped, use data to kill the author. As long as the data is good, the author will explode. Chapter 5 Late Night Cinema, Purple Hair Zombies You are listening at NovelFull.audio The reshuffle of the world is actually a rare opportunity for a commoner like me. Step by step, step by step, I must seize the time to develop in order to establish myself in this new chaotic world, and even soar to the sky. With the eye of the underworld, I can accurately determine the strength of the fierce ghosts in various places. As long as I consciously avoid those powerful ghosts, Little Red Riding Hood can feel like entering an uninhabited place in other places. Gu Yuan turned off the world channel, thinking to himself, and his gaze became even more determined. He scanned around and quickly chose a direction. That is the location of the cinema. The intensity of Yin Chi above is slightly stronger than that of gambling ghosts. But compared to Little Red Riding Hood, there is still a considerable gap. It is the best choice for hands. On activities, Gu Yuan, carrying Little Red Riding Hood, walked through the deserted street and quickly arrived at the cinema. Push open the door and head straight to the location where Yin Chi is strongest. In the VIP cinema, on the big screen, a horror movie is playing. Silent and deserted village bare graves, low and oppressive background music combined with this dim cinema environment, it is truly chilling. And at the very center of the cinema, a girl with long hair wearing a white dress was curled up on the seat with her knees crossed in both hands, trembling all over like a sieve. Her name is Mu Xuelan. After the arrival of Thriller Games, she gained the ability of a witch doctor. At the same time, they also received their own initial test. That's to come to this cinema and watch a whole horror movie. As for what will happen during the process of watching a movie, she doesn't know and dare not even think about it. Squeak. A biting sound suddenly sounded. The entrance to the cinema is open. Mu Xuelan was so frightened that her whole body trembled, feeling stiff. Her pretty face instantly turned pale and lifeless. She mustered up courage and forcefully turned her head back. Is someone here? No, it's not human. Mu Xuelan's eyes widened, filled with fear. She saw Gu Yuan. At first glance, there seems to be no abnormality. But upon closer inspection, one will be completely attracted by Gu Yuan's strange eyes. It's like two pools of blood, carrying an extreme tyranny in evil. For a moment, Mu Xuelan felt like her heart was about to stop suddenly and all her blood seemed to freeze at this moment. It's too scary. Gu Yuan glanced at her and raised his eyebrows slightly. Other players. In the view of the eye of the underworld, there is a bright player tag on Mu Xuelan's head. There is also basic information such as F.Level and Witch Doctor. She looks very beautiful and belongs to the school flower category, but for Gu Yuan now, she doesn't have much value. Gu Yuan's gaze swept over her and turned to the big screen. Here is the location where Yin Chi is most concentrated. On the screen, horror movies are still playing. The bare grave suddenly began to shake without warning. Boom! A loud explosion. The grave exploded, 
and a zombie covered in purple fur suddenly emerged. Next, step forward. I walked straight out of the big screen of the cinema and stood in reality. He had a fierce appearance, with two sharp fangs protruding and dripping down with foul-smelling saliva. At the moment of landing, a deep pit corroded out on the ground. Obviously, there is an incredibly powerful corpse poison in his saliva. This terrifying scene made Mu Xuelan's hands and feet even colder, almost screaming. My heart is filled with infinite despair. Her identity as a shaman and her combat effectiveness are very weak. And now, there are purple-haired zombies in front and evil-eyed men behind. Neither of them is something she can handle. Isn't this a dead-end situation? Finally willing to come out. Gu Yuan sneered coldly. Through the eye of the underworld, he can accurately determine the level of strength of the purple hair zombie. D. Level, among the initial supernatural beings, it was already considered a very powerful existence. But here in Little Red Riding Hood, it's not enough to see. Kill him. Gu Yuan spoke in a deep voice. Little Red Riding Hood walked towards the purple hair zombie without hesitation, jumping and jumping. The purple-haired zombie also felt the threat from Little Red Riding Hood and stared fiercely at her. Hmm don't kill me. Mu Xuelan, who was sandwiched in the middle, was slightly stunned, and a hint of hope surged in her heart. If the evil-eyed man could fight against the purple-haired zombie, they would both be defeated. Maybe she still has a chance to survive. Her heart twitched, and she took out her phone, trembling as she opened the recording mode. Then he carefully placed his phone next to his seat. The camera silently records everything in front of us. On Little Red Riding Hood's face, there was still that harmless smile. But with every step taken, the body undergoes eerie changes. By the time she arrived at the purple-haired zombie, she had completely transformed into the massive wolf ghost. Even the muscular purple-haired zombie can only reach Little Red Riding Hood's waist. Mu Xuelan looked bewildered and extremely shocked in her heart. From a soft and cute little lowly to such a ferocious beast. The contrast before and after this, the visual impact it brings to people, is really stunning. Purple-haired zombies are also a bit confused. Wolf Ghost Little Red Riding Hood raised her hand and hooked at the purple-haired zombie. Although the purple-haired zombie has low intelligence, it can still understand the mockery implied in Little Red Riding Hood's gesture. I couldn't help but fly into a rage. Roar. He let out a roar, his stiff legs shook, and his whole body jumped up. A withered palm chopped out like firewood. Dirty nails that were several tens of centimeters long hit Little Red Riding Hood head dot on and covered her face. P.S. The new book set sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, a flower, and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Chapter 6 When you see this man, walk around. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On every nail of the purple haired zombie, there is a faint black luster. Obviously, on his nails, there is also corpse poison. This is one of the most challenging characteristics of zombies. Once scratched by him, the corpse poison will immediately enter the body through the wound. Extinct all vitality in a very short time, be infected and become a new zombie. So, in general, no one dares to shoulder zombie attacks. However, in the face of such attacks, Little Red Riding Hood remained motionless. In the oily green wolf's eyes, a hint of contempt floated through. Zheng. The sharp claws of the purple-haired zombie landed on her, but it emitted a sound of golden and iron resonance. It's like hitting some kind of divine weapon. The claws that can easily crush gold and jade are completely unable to break through Little Red Riding Hood's defense. Not even a single white mark left. Even the skin cannot be torn open, and the corpse poison is naturally useless. Hee <laughs> hee. The purple-haired zombie was also surprised. Her cloudy eyes widened with a hint of humanization, as if she couldn't believe it. Big brother, it's my turn now. 
Wolf Ghost Little Red Riding Hood grinned and her eyes were wild and cruel. Raise your big hand, with an unstoppable aura, and reach directly in front of the purple-haired zombie. Finger flick. The firm chest of the purple-haired zombie immediately collapsed. The tall body flew backwards. Crashed through the screen, deeply embedded in the wall. Roar. The purple-haired zombie was filled with fear and anger, struggling frantically. Wolf Ghost Little Red Riding Hood walked forward, grinned and slashed out with her sharp claws. Brush. The head of the purple-haired zombie flew high, accompanied by large patches of pale green blood. Death. This purple zombie, who is considered one of the best in the zombie clan, has died. Mu Xuelan huddled in her seat, staring blankly, with despair in her eyes and a heart filled with despair. This is this over. For her, this is not good news. After cleaning up the purple-haired zombie, shouldn't it be her turn to deal with this evil-eyed man and this eerie giant wolf? Even if you give her ten more hands, it's impossible to stop this strange giant wolf. Ahead, Little Red Riding Hood has taken off her wolf ghost form and returned to her original appearance as a little girl. Bouncing back to Gu Yuan's side. Gu Yuan rubbed her hair and was in a good mood. Because purple-haired zombies have much stronger strength than gambling ghosts. Slaying him will result in a much higher reward. There are thirty strange energies. Little Red Riding Hood gave a sweet smile, her face innocent and innocent. Brother, besides this big guy, there's also a beautiful sister over there. Should we kill her too? Upon hearing this, Gu Yuan turned his head and looked at Mu Xuelan. Just a glance. Let Mu Xuelan stiffen all over, her breathing pause, and sweat rain down. Like a sculpture, not daring to move at all, afraid of any unnecessary actions that would directly arouse Gu Yuan's murderous heart. Gu Yuan pondered for a moment and shook his head. Only by killing supernatural creatures can one obtain eerie energy. There is no reward for killing players. There is no need to create killing without profit. He took out his phone and checked the time. There are still four hours until dawn. Let's go and seize the time to hunt down other supernatural creatures. Little Red Riding Hood nodded obediently without any objection. One big and one small, holding hands, disappeared into the darkness. After a long time, Mu Xuelan's tense body finally relaxed. The white dress on her body has been completely soaked by cold sweat. Only when facing Gu Yuan and Little Red Riding Hood can one truly understand the terrifying suppressive power. Great, finally gone. The purple-haired zombie has already died. Next, as long as I stay in the cinema until dawn, I will be completely safe. Mu Xuelan patted her heart and whispered to herself with lingering fear. She turned her head to look at her phone. The video mode fully recorded the recent battle. She hesitated for a moment before extracting the video, uploading it to the game space, and then spreading it to the world channel. Warning. Serious warning. If you see this man near Longqing Cinema, please make sure to take a detour, he is really dangerous I suspect this is a very powerful supernatural creature, perhaps even the big boss in the Dragon City area cannot be sure I don't know why he let me go, but please don't risk your life, everyone, below is the scene I personally experienced, high dot energy warning. A video follows behind. Due to the darkness of the cinema, the video quality is also very poor. But you can vaguely see the general idea. A man stood there quietly, with devilish crimson eyes that were extremely eerie and terrifying, making one's hair stand on end. And in front of him, the innocent and lovely little girl turned into an incredibly fierce giant wolf. A big scene of tearing apart purple-haired zombies was staged. As soon as this terrifying video was released, it immediately caused a huge response on World Channel. Those who are in Dragon City have even designated the vicinity of the cinema as a restricted area and listed Gu Yuan and Little Red Riding Hood as non-provoking monsters, keeping a distance. P.S. The new book sets sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, 
a flower, and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Chapter 7 Is He a Game Boss? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. A fish belly white appeared in the sky. The terrifying darkness dissipated and a ray of sunlight shone down. Countless people breathed a sigh of relief, surviving the disaster. They never felt that the sunshine was so warm and so reassuring. In everyone's mind, the devil-like whispers echoed again. The first night of the thriller game ends, all players who can hear this voice, congratulations. You have successfully passed the initial test and gained the right to live in the new world. But. How long you can live depends on your own performance, next, more detailed game rules will be announced. When the sun rises, for a safe time, all supernatural creatures will disperse. Except for some places of great danger, any area is safe, too. The game will produce many eerie props, each of which has extraordinary power. Please use them well. As the game progresses, more features will gradually open up, such as trading channels, leaderboards, etc. Stay tuned, please hurry up and enjoy this rare and comfortable time. A corner of Dragon City. Is daytime safe time? That means there are no supernatural beings to hunt. Gu Yuan lifted his head and felt the long lost sunshine, murmuring to himself. There was a hint of regret in the tone. If this is heard by others, they will definitely think that Gu Yuan has gone crazy. After all for Gu Yuan, the night is a frenzied feast of development. But for others, it is a hell full of death and blood. The dark blood streaks at the corners of Gu Yuan's eyes have extended outwards and are about to spread to his temples. This is a symbol of strength enhancement. After a night of hunting, he received a large amount of purine energy as a feedback. My own strength has directly increased from F. To E. Even without the protection of Little Red Riding Hood, in this eerie world, one can still barely have some self-protection power. And Little Red Riding Hood also benefited a lot, vaguely reaching the threshold of B.Level. As for the eerie energy in Gu Yuan's hand, it has already reached 300 points. There is not much difference between the next round of black fairy tale fabrication. Although daylight has arrived, there are still no people visible on the street. The vast majority of people are still immersed in the terror of the night, only daring to hide at home and not daring to leave the door. Passing through the quiet street, Gu Yuan returned to his own house and lay directly in bed to rest. He didn't even close his eyes all night. Taking advantage of the safe time now, take a good sleep and regain your energy. Before long, the terrifying darkness will descend again. How should we deal with the upcoming life and death crisis without fully nurturing our spirit? As for Little Red Riding Hood, it was included in Gu Yuan's own black fairy tale space. The environment there is more suitable for Little Red Riding Hood to rest. At this point. Launching center. In a solemn conference room. Everyone gathered, their faces serious and their gaze fixed. They are of different ages, with men and women, but one thing is the same. They are all top elites from all walks of life in Longcheng, with impressive achievements in their respective fields that cannot be ignored. He is a real big shot. These big shots are all staring at the big screen at the forefront. That is a rough screenshot of the image quality. A slender man with blood-red eyes stood shoulder to shoulder with a little girl wearing a bright red hood. Across the screen, there is a spreading ominous and evil aura. A female researcher stood up, pondered for a moment, and spoke in a deep voice. Ladies and gentlemen, we have conducted extensive filtering on the information of the Thriller Game World Channel, screening out 15,000 pieces of information related to Dragon City. This is the most influential one among them. The specific video has just been played. Personally, I believe that the views of the video publisher are highly likely to be facts. This evil-eyed man may be the most terrifying supernatural creature within our Dragon City area. However, the type of supernatural creature he belongs to cannot be determined yet. 
Another man in military uniform gritted his teeth and said sternly. What should we do now? If this kind of existence is allowed to exist, it is likely to cause irreparable huge losses to Dragon City. Should we mobilize all our forces to search and annihilate it? Everyone fell silent. An old man pondered for a moment and whispered, Shao Li, play the video again. Shao Li acts according to his words. Stop. That's it. Video paused. It was the scene where Gu Yuan took out his phone and checked the time. Seeing this scene, the many big shots in the conference room all had a slight change in their faces. Is that a phone? This supernatural creature is using a phone to check the time. Someone exclaimed in surprise. The old man shook his head. Our human technology and supernatural beings are two completely different forces. There are very few supernatural beings using mobile phones. Rather than calling him a supernatural creature, I think he is very likely a human, and also a member of our Dragon City people. Upon hearing this sentence, all the big shots were shocked. On the first night of the thriller game, humans were basically defeated. Those who can pass the initial test and survive are basically just lucky. But Gu Yuan can take the initiative to attack and hunt down supernatural creatures. This it's a bit outrageous. I also know this speculation is a bit exaggerated, but we cannot ignore this possibility. If he is truly human, perhaps he can become the future guardian god of our dragon city, and even the spiritual flag of the entire federation. Immediately mobilize all forces to investigate his identity. P.S. The new book sets sail, and the seedlings require everyone's care. Sincerely asking for a wave of data, a flower, and an evaluation ticket are all the motivation for the author to code their words. Chapter 8 Midnight Rental, Ghost Blocks You are listening at NovelFull.audio The sun sets in the west. The world has once again become dim. The second thriller night is about to begin. Gu Yuan sat in front of the window, taking a gentle sip of tea, waiting for the night to fall completely. At this moment, blood flickered in front of him. The game system pop.up appears. At night, terror will take over the world again last night was the initial test, the loser walked towards death, and the winner obtained the qualification to continue the game tonight, we will randomly release missions to all surviving players successfully completing the task will earn generous rewards, while those who fail will face severe punishment glancing at the pop.up content. Gu Yuan raised his eyebrows and a slight sneer appeared at the corner of his mouth. Started actively distributing tasks. The game official wants to force all players to leave the room and fight against supernatural creatures through missions. The handwriting transformation on the virtual screen. It has become a task description for Gu Yuan alone. Personal tasks, task objective. Go to Longqing Hospital. Task Description In the late night, there are still many taxis running, and the passengers they pull may not only be people. Task Requirement Take a midnight taxi and successfully arrive at Longqing Hospital. Task Success Reward Depending on the completion of the task. Task Failure Penalty You will be attacked by a large number of supernatural creatures. Midnight Taxi Gu Yuan raised his eyebrows and a hint of playful laughter flashed through his eyes. In almost every city's midnight mystery, there is a presence of midnight taxis. The driver and passengers in the car can all be deadly reaper. The difficulty of this task is to survive in the taxi. Moreover, this is clearly a serial task. Successfully arriving at Longqing Hospital is not always a good thing. There may be something even more terrifying waiting over there. Without hesitation, Gu Yuan raised his hand and summoned Little Red Riding Hood out of the black fairy tale space. Then he took Little Red Riding Hood and plunged into the endless darkness. The Dragon City at night is completely different from the day. The quiet streets are filled with a desolate and ominous atmosphere. The surrounding buildings were dark and blazing, 
but Gu Yuan could feel that countless gazes were projected from the windows, staring at them. There are both humans and supernatural beings. This once familiar city has become very unfamiliar and mysterious. In the distance, the dim yellow headlights lit up. A rusty and dilapidated taxi drove over. Stop in front of Gu Yuan. The driver is wearing a black duckbill hat with a low brim that makes it difficult to see clearly. Where are we going? He spoke softly, his voice hoarse. It's like a high dot speed chainsaw hissing. Gu Yuan was mentally prepared and gave a faint smile. Longqing Grand Hospital. Get in the car. Gu Yuan opened the car door and sat calmly in the back seat with Little Red Riding Hood. As soon as he got into the car, he felt a strong cold and gloomy aura that silently surrounded him, stimulating every inch of his skin. The car was filled with an unpleasant smell, like the smell of rotten meat. Obviously, this taxi is not a good type. The driver didn't speak much, hunched his body, stepped on the gas pedal, and the taxi roared out. However, when I first crossed the street and turned right, a pale figure suddenly appeared ahead. It looks like a severely burned patient, with dense bandages tied all over his body. In the gaps between the bandages, there are still many dark yellow viscous secretions that seep out. Under the dim headlights, it looks even more terrifying. The driver rolled down the car window, his tone icy and devoid of warmth. There is someone in the car. The bandage ghost tilted its head slightly, and its two fierce big eyes looked at Gu Yuan through the gap in the bandage. The tone is even more domineering and overbearing. It's okay if there's someone, get out of here and I'll go up. As he spoke, he suddenly raised his hand and a dismal white bandage came out, extending directly to the car window and giving it a hard pull. Hurry up and get out of here, don't play dead for me. At the same time, a pop dot up window popped up in front of Gu Yuan. Temporary task. Fierce ghost hitchhiker. Task description. Driving on the streets at night, there are often fierce ghosts blocking the way. We must meet their requirements in order to continue moving forward. Task requirement. Stop the bandage ghost from riding. Task reward. Depending on completion level. Task failed. Deduct half of lifespan. Is it a new task? Gu Yuan smiled slightly. Through the eye of the underworld, he had already seen through the power of this bandaged ghost. C. Level. It looks fierce and ferocious, but in front of Little Red Riding Hood, it's just a lamb waiting to be slaughtered that can be needed at will. The task objective is to prevent him from getting into the taxi. The best way is directly surpassing him in physics. The little red hat beside her trembled with excitement, and a hint of pathological blush surged on her face. She is not afraid of battle. On the contrary, she enjoys every slaughter. After holding it for so long, she can't help it anymore. Seeing Gu Yuan motionless for a long time, the bandage ghost also lost patience and directly opened the car door. Two bandages swept towards Gu Yuan and Little Red Riding Hood. Fools. Get out of here, can't you understand me? It's hard to say, then I'll kill you first and send you to the west. Chapter 9 Quickly kill the bandage ghost, the scared ghost driver. You are listening at novel full dot audio. The speed of the two bandages is very fast. Like two ferocious venomous snakes, flipping and rolling freely in the air. Little Red Riding Hood didn't dodge, and the bandage wrapped around her tightly. Then with a sudden tug, he rudely pulled Little Red Riding Hood out of the car. Gaga, what a delicate and tender little girl. I haven't tasted this fresh flesh for a long time. Hanging in the air, Little Red Riding Hood didn't panic at all, but her eyes were full of teasing. Ugly guy, you've hurt me. Little Red Riding Hood whispered, her tender white hand lifted up, and in the blink of an eye, it turned into a ferocious wolf claw. Slash casually. That bandage snapped in response. Little Red Riding Hood, without any constraints, fell down directly. 
Every inch of fall causes a slight change in the body. By the time she landed, she had already turned into a terrifying giant wolf. The bandage stared blankly. Then came the fierce outbreak. Countless bandages fall off and stretch freely in the air, like a group of demons dancing wildly. Even the air echoed with mournful cries, extremely mournful. Little Red Riding Hood is neither tight nor slow, taking one step at a time. You can easily tear a bandage with each move. Not long after, the bandage on the bandage ghost's body was completely depleted, turning into a charred, bald black man all over. Watching the wolf ghost Little Red Riding Hood getting closer and closer. The bandage ghost also understands that he kicked an iron plate today. Without hesitation, he knelt down with a loud thud and said with a mournful expression. Big brother, I won't take this car anymore. I was blind and ate the bear's heart and leopard's gallbladder. Big brother, please spare me for a while. Next time I see you, make sure to take a detour. Gu Yuan sneered, his gaze not wavering. In his eyes, the bandage ghost and other supernatural creatures were all truly eerie energies. I bumped into his hand now. Open up a side. Jokes. Hands on. Gu Yuan waved his hand. Little Red Riding Hood naturally did not hesitate, her claws raised and her hand raised and her knife fell. The bandage ghost was directly split into two pieces. Burnt black blood splattered out like fireworks. Little Red Riding Hood bent down, pulled off a piece of bandage from the ghost's thigh, and wolfed it down in her mouth. At the same time, he slightly tilted his head and looked towards the direction of the taxi. The taxi driver has been watching a play nearby. At this moment, seeing Little Red Riding Hood's gaze, he couldn't help but tremble all over. Quickly turn your head and sit upright, afraid to take another look. Ding! Gain 50 points of eerie energy. Temporary mission completed by a fierce ghost hitchhiking. Your task completion rate is as high as 300%, and the task rewards critical hits. Gain 100 points of eerie energy. Obtain seed.level eerie items, bandaged ghost armor. A series of system prompts sound. Gu Yuan's eyes also showed a hint of surprise. The task reward he received this time was much richer than he had imagined. A total of 150 eerie energies. Including the strange energy accumulated the night before, Gu Yuan's hand has reached a full 450 points. I will be able to edit Black Fairy Tales for the second time soon. Moreover, this time I also obtained a strange prop. Bandage Ghost Armor, Grade. C. Level, Introduction. This magical weapon is crafted by the Bandage Ghost with all its strength. Wearing it will greatly enhance your defense ability. Glancing at him, Gu Yuan's smile deepened. This strange item is exactly the defensive item he urgently needs. After equipping, his life.saving ability can be greatly improved. For someone like him as a summoner, it's simply the perfect fit. Without hesitation, Gu Yuan put on the bandaged ghost armor and sat back in the taxi with Little Red Riding Hood. Master, let's continue. Gu Yuan spoke gently. Witnessing Little Red Riding Hood's brutality with his own eyes, the driver naturally dared not show any further negligence and cruelly stepped on the accelerator, galloping away. Perhaps it was the tragic death of the bandaged ghost that intimidated those supernatural creatures hidden in the dark. The journey was very smooth. There are no more inconspicuous people coming out to stop. Quickly, they arrived at the entrance of Longqing Hospital. Two of you, it's time to get off the bus. The driver spoke in a low voice, hoarse and with a hint of respect in his tone. Gu Yuan remained motionless and spoke with a smile. Master, we haven't paid the fare yet. The driver trembled imperceptibly and whispered. No charge. His strength is almost the same as that bandage ghost. The bandage ghost was directly slaughtered by Little Red Riding Hood, and if it were him, the same outcome would have happened. Faced with these two great gods, how dare he say more? Gu Yuan smiled and said. 
Master, this is a bit against the rules, isn't it? It is only natural for you to carry passengers and I to take a ride, paying and delivering goods on one hand. I heard that most of you who drive midnight taxis are just going to die. You can't break the rules. The driver kept trembling. Gu Yuan continued his journey leisurely and leisurely. However, my and Little Red Riding Hood's lives are relatively precious, so we cannot give them to you casually. Here, only your own life can be used to offset the fare. 